Hey y'all, this is Maggie from Vertical Vixens. Today what we're going to be looking at is strength training for inversions without using a pole. So these are going to be great for all levels, whether you're working towards your chopper or you already have it and you're looking to build and maintain the strength that you have. We're going to be looking at six basic exercises today. Um, I suggest doing sets of 10 and then repeating this whole thing at least four times. So, the first exercise we're going to look at today are basic leg lifts. So you're going to start laying on your back. We want to start by engaging our core. So we're going to tilt the pelvis under to push the lower back into the floor. This is going to engage our core muscles. Throughout the duration of this exercise, you don't want any space between your lower back and the floor. So I don't want to see this. Tuck it under. Lift the legs to a comfortable height. And then we're going to start by lowering down. When you start to feel resistance, you're going to pull those legs back up. And you want to keep that lower back on the floor the whole time, so you don't want to arch. So I'm not going to do a full set, but I suggest that you do sets of 10. The next thing we're going to do are reverse crunches. So these are going to mock the movement that we use when we actually do a chopper. So we're going to start with the basic leg lift, but we're going to bring it a little bit further. Once we get up, you're going to hoist your booty off the floor and then extend your legs into a straddle to try to touch the floor overhead. When you roll back down, keep that lower back on the floor, core is engaged. So once again, we're going to do 10 of these. The next exercise we're going to look at today are boat crunches. So uh, the harder variation of this would be to do this without your hands on the floor. However, if you're not quite there yet, you can always take your hands behind you for a little extra support. So we're going to start in a boat pose. We're balanced on the sit bones. Shins are parallel to the floor. Back is flat. And all we're going to do is extend the legs out, lean back, pull it back up. So once again, I'd suggest doing a set of 10 boat crunches. So we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do a basic forearm plank now. Your elbows wanna be right beneath your shoulders. You can cup your hands, make a fist, arms flat, whatever feels good for you. And then we're gonna stretch it out. Feet are hips distance apart. You wanna make sure that you are in a nice straight line from heel to head and you wanna avoid dropping your head. Protect your cervical spine, pushing through the shoulders, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the quads, squeezing the core. And we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. So you want to avoid hips down or hips up. Nice flat plank. 30 seconds. So the last exercise we're going to do is going to target your hip flexors. So your hip flexors are the muscle that lift your leg up, hip flexion. So we're gonna start legs nice and wide in a straddle. You wanna to try to stay sitting up straight with a flat back, and then all we're gonna do, this is harder than it looks, is we're gonna to try to pick both of our heels up off the floor, 10 times. Now, if this feels too hard, you can always do one leg at a time, 10 on each leg. So, that's our entire sequence there. So just to reiterate, we have 10 leg lifts, 10 reverse crunches, 10 boat crunches, 30 second plank, and 10 straddle pulses, or 10 on each leg. So like I said, I would suggest doing this at least four times, take a couple minutes rest in between, and keep me updated on your progress.